Hello guys, welcome to Finding Signals. Today we are going to analyze one more stock and the name of the stock is eClerk Services. Now what does the eClerk Services do? eClerk Services is a knowledge and business process outsourcing company which means they help their client in improving operational efficiency, productivity, speed and quality. Now company has operations in United States UK, Europe and Asia Pacific. They are serving in following sectors which includes financial services, cable and telecommunications, retail, fashion, media and entertainment, manufacturing, travel and leisure, software and high tech. Now majorly company has divided its operation into three segments which are customer operations, digital and financial markets. Now we'll discuss these segments in detail further in this video but first let us have a look at the shareholding in which 27% of the shareholding is with Indian promoter and promoter group similar holding with foreign promoters as well so we can see approx 54% of the holding is with promoters which is a good sign that promoters have huge holding non-promoter and non-public which is ESOP trust have 2.53% Individuals approx 7%, FPI and FIIs approx 19%, other corporate bodies, financial banks at 1%, mutual funds at 14% and other parties have approx 3%. If we see at the company's location which includes sales offices and production hubs, then they have offices in India, Philippines, Thailand, Singapore, USA, Canada, UK and in countries of Europe. So company has a wide reach. Now looking at their customers operation, they are providing services solution for customer experience solution, field technical operations, omni-channel customer support, analytics services and technology solutions. Under eClerks digital segment, they are providing wide range of services including like web search optimization, social media services related to digital marketing, also digital asset management, CGI which includes special visual elements and graphics, creative services, data management, data analytics and many more services. Looking at the sectors catered by the company then they are catering to fashion and luxury companies, retail and e-commerce companies, technology, hardware segment, software segment 2 solutions for banking and financial services and travel and hospitality company solutions so yes companies catering to wide sector which provides lot of stability to companies financial performance also in financial markets they are providing derivative trade support cash security operations regulatory compliance and data also document management and analytics and technology products also guys, if you find this content helpful, then please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also in the comment section, you can let me know if I miss any important point about this company or if you want me to cover any specific stock. Now let us have a look at the fundamentals of this stock. Now guys, another important point which we can see here that company is catering to global Fortune 500 clients. This is another positive point about the company. If we look at the market cap, it is around rupees 8,400 crores. So it is a small cap company. The current price of the stock is 2,411. The book value is 461. Face value is rupees 10. And if we look at the returns generated in last one year, then it has generated 212%. So yes, it has generated very good returns. Price to book value of the stock is above 5. But when we look at the industry PBV ratio, it is just 1.56. So yes, price to book value for the company is higher than the other companies in the industry. The PE ratio of the stock is 26, but industry PE is 30. So yes, here we can see that company's valuation is not premium. In fact, it is less than the industry, which is another good news about the stock. Return on capital employed is around 23% and return on equity is 
so returns ratios looks decent and debt to equity ratio is 0.11 so company is almost debt free not completely debt free if we compare eclerk services with its peers in it sector and computer software industry then we can see the names of companies like emphasis oracle tata lxc persistent happiest mind now important point here is that the market cap of eclerk services is very less than the other companies in this industry but then also if we look at the net profit per quarter then for eclerk services it is around 91 crores and it is not much less than these companies if we look at the quarterly profit change then for eclerk services there is a growth of 76 percent which is the second highest in the list after lnt technology for sales growth eclerks achieved the highest quarterly sales that is the percentage change compared to previous quarter it is highest for eclerk services and even return on capital employed is slightly less than other companies in the industry but when we look at the market cap, it is very less than these companies. So this is another positive news about the company. Also, when we look at the quarterly results, we can see that sales are increasing on a quarterly basis. Even the operating profits are increasing. Now, to have a wider look, we can see a yearly statement. Guys, yearly statement always gives a long term view. But if we want to see the short term performance of the company, I prefer to see quarterly statements so in the long term we can get a wider view yes sales have improved in the last 10 years even the operating profit margins have improved but in the recent time we can see operating profit margins started declining they were 40% in 2012 then 39 34 37 but especially in the last two years company has been able to improve their profit margins again we can see they were around 22% in 2019, then 23%, then 29. So these are signs of recoveries. Also, guys, when we look stock price CAGR in the last 10 years, we can see it was 16% CAGR in last 10 years. But in last one year, stock price has gained 212%, which is more than even five years and three years CAGR. So company has completely outperformed in the last one year if we compare it with the previous performance. Having a look at balance sheet, we can see that reserves of the company are growing at a rapid pace. Liabilities are not that much even in the past borrowings were nil. But in the recent time company has increased their slight debt which is not huge. Fixed assets are also increasing. Also guys, earlier in this video, we discussed about the shareholding pattern. But if we look at the shareholding pattern over the previous few quarters, we can see that foreign institution had almost 24% of the shareholding. But currently they have only 19%, which means they have reduced their shareholding. But in the previous quarter, they had around 18. So in this quarter, they have increased. Same with domestic institutions also. In the longer time horizon, we can see that they have reduced their shareholding. But in this quarter, particularly June 2021, they have increased their shareholding. While who among these is increasing their shareholding? It is the public and the promoters. Promoters have also increased their shareholding. We can see it was around 50 but now it is around 53 public is also increasing their shareholding it was around six and now it is around nine so this is positive news that promoters are increasing shareholding now guys this is the chart of e clerk services on a one month time frame now one thing which we can clearly see that the stock was having a very strong resistance at the level of 1620 and as soon as the stock broke this resistance in the month of june 2021 it gave a very good upwards rally on a daily time frame we can clearly see that stock is in a bullish momentum like the market and there is a good support for the stock at the level of 2050 but if someone wants to buy at a closer level then stock has also been taking support from 50 days moving average so for short term they can think of buying at those levels but for long term i think this 2050 would be the very good level to enter in this stock while if somebody is already invested then they can continue to hold on to this stock now guys this was all from this video if you found the content helpful then please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to this youtube channel
थैंक यू